Shepard. So I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers and we can all come up for air? Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the Crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. I'm just glad I could take care of one of them for you. I gather you and Kaylee Sanders were close. I owe you for that one, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. We even had a run-in with Saren in his early days. She and I were... More than close. She misses you. I miss her. End of the world has a way of reminding you what you forgot to do. Maybe when the war's over, Kaylee and I will do something about that. You'll see her soon. I can hope. But you've got a bigger problem right now. Like a galaxy full of scared bureaucrats. I don't know how you deal with all the politics. It's a pain in the ass. As I recall, you gave me the job. Yeah. Sorry about that. Just remember, the more they complain, the more you know you're accomplishing something. What about you? What's happening on Earth? I'll spare you the details. But let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver, and now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole just trying to stay alive. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. I don't know how we'll win this yet, but we will. Even if it kills me. Well, you already died once, and that didn't slow you down. But let's not tempt fate. Keep yourself safe, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. Need something, Shepard? That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Uh, yeah. Something wrong? Morden. He got his tissue sample from me, all right. Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. What the hell happened with the Rachni? I thought they were on our side after you saved the Queen on Novaria. It wasn't her fault. She got captured. She's with us now. <laughs> Until the next time the Reapers sing a sour yellow note of whatever. Shepard, I had a question about human behavior. Why is it you never have questions about Asari behavior or Turian behavior? I tried asking Liara questions about the Asari bonding process. She said I do not guard the secrets of the Normandy's crew carefully enough for her to entrust me with such private information. The Asari word she used translates as blabbermouth. I think she has become a more private person since becoming the Shadow Broker. Yeah, tell me about it. Commander, I understand you faced Rachni on your mission. You know about them? In our cycle, we use them as weapons. Biological proxies. It was before I was born, but every Prothean had heard the stories. When we knew of them, the Rachni spent their lives singing thoughts to each other. But our scientists were more interested in their biology. The Rachni were well suited to harsh conditions. So we bred them for violence selecting the most cunning and warlike of the queens. Then we unleash them upon our enemies. 
For a time, it worked. Until they became too cunning and warlike and turned on us. We put them down before they could develop any further. We thought they had been exterminated. Yet it seems our experiment evolved into this cycle's nemesis. Working on anything? I'm helping decode some of the Crucible's designs, or trying to. Theoretical particle physics based on specialized base 12 mathematics aren't exactly my specialty. And Javik is his usual forthcoming self. I'd trade my last hundred years to resurrect even one Prothean scientist to help us. Shepard. Eve ready for travel to Tuchanka. What can you tell me about the Shroud? Climate regulator. Counteracts radiation damage to Tuchanka's atmosphere from nuclear war. Particles emitted from main tower form layer that mitigates ultraviolet bombardment, prevents atmospheric escape of necessary elements. And your people put it up? Yes, when uplift process began. Demonstration of goodwill to Krogan, stabilize climate, impress population. Combined with technological gifts, easy to gain Krogan support against Rachni. Nice talking with you, Morden. We'll be here if you need me. Continuing to study Shroud in meantime. <laughs> 